Hello everyone, it's my channel. Today we're doing a reading for Sun Leo. And keep in mind that this will not resonate for every Leo. So let's see what we have for the Sun Leo. What do we have for our lions? Let's see. What we have for you? Number 16 with her special place. Find your own safe space inside and out. So you can be finding your own type of like sanctuary here, Leo. Number 31, The Beauty and the Beast, Unconditional Love. Number 17, with Acorn's Invitation, Touch, Exchange, Connection. We have number 13, with Catch Me, Trust, Surrender, Leap of Faith into the Unknown. Number 14, with Light to Darkness, Ancestors, Ancestral Line, Generational Shift. And we have the Merlin, number 33. Guidance, mentorship, teacher of the old ways. All right, Leo. So I feel like you have your ancestors connecting with you. You're going inside. You're going inside like a type of sanctuary, kind of like the, the hermit, right? Going into a hermitage, Leo. But I have, feel like you're connecting with your ancestors. You're taking a leap of faith here with your ancestors. You're learning more about your ancestors. Your ancestors are going to be guiding you towards something. All right. And we also have unconditional love where we have a connection where... It's it's of unconditional love, Leo. And we're connected with the Merlin as well, which is like a magician. So let's redo your Merlin card. And we have light the darkness as well. It's number 33 and 14. So you have number 14. Okay. A tiny bright childlike fairy straddles the grizzled head of a fairy elder. What can this mean? In fairy lore, the head is particularly significant. It is in the head that inspiration, fire, and power are said to reside. The fairy told the ancient Celts of the secret, and the Celts then venerated and collected the heads of the heroes slain, which often were said to live long after the body had passed away. And this small bright fairy is hearing of all the wisdom this old being has. He is sharing, telling, and communicating, and while she may seem playful, she is attending to his every word, and she will remember for generations to come. You see, fairy do not live forever, though they live very long lives, a great deal longer than any humans do, even the ones with human blood. However, they do fade, and the small fairy being atop of the head of the old one will ensure that the knowledge continues on. On another level, this small brightness of the fairy represents inspiration, the muse, the fire in the head, which we speak of in Celtic shamanism. It is when we feel and see and know that connection to all that is, when we are on fire with inspiration and ideas that flow to us and from us and within us, that we are restored to our true self. This beautiful ancient being whose light is fading is passing on this wisdom into the keeping of the young and often underestimated. says, listen to elders. Find a playful, wise elder from whom you can learn. Seek out relatives and ancestor wisdom. Search through your family tree for evidence of the magics within you. They are there. Old wise ones have messages for you and you can learn from them. Allow them to pass on their wisdom to you to, so a living tradition continues. Understand that you come from a long line of wise ones and connect with these elders. A chance encounter with an older person gives you much to think about. You will learn a great deal at this time if you connect with older people. Do not be afraid of growing older. You will never die. Your light will be passed on and your soul spark will return to source, to soul, to starfire, to be renewed again, only as you agree to. Then we have number 33 with the Merlin. When the Ancient One all right, we're talking about connecting with old people here. We have the Marlin, which is an older man. That's that spirit you're connecting with, which is going to teach you a lot here, Leo. All right, you'll be taking that leap of faith there with them. It says, when the ancient one, the Marlin, comes forward to speak with you, you're speaking with all the knowledge of the ancient druids who have spent time in fairy lands for years, many of whom remain there still, including the wise mentor and teacher, Marlin. It is difficult to overestimate his depth of knowledge his compassionate heart and his laughter. 
He is part fae, part human, and all wise and loving. He is a teacher who comes to you with a message that you must find a teacher who claims not to know all, but who can guide you to knowledge within your own self, which seems out of reach and obscure to you at this present. It will be time to study to be corrected when Merlin comes to you. His guidance can feel stern to some, but because he is not always available for long periods of time, it is imperative to make each moment count when you have connected with this wise teacher. He wishes you to know that everything is your teacher, that life itself is yours to learn from, and he understands that choices you have made led you to him for now, and in that time, you will part, and that too is right and good. He is ages old, and he knows that much of your wisdom encoded in sleeping DNA is ages old too. He gazes into his crystal orb at the end of his staff, and the wisdom of the stones and their strength and support are yours to lean on. You may experience visions when scrying, when... Marlin enters your world. His good humor is only matched by his determination for you to learn whichever way you choose. Those who find him hard, find him a hard taskmaster, are actually resisting life's lessons, and he will dissolve blocks within you regarding seeing, hearing, feeling, sensing, and even smelling the thing. Marlin has an incredible sense of smell. He says, as Marlin is a bard, you may be drawn to remember him telling stories and tales of your own life this time. As he is a wizard, high magics will attract you. As he is a guide, you will find a mentor and become a mentor in your own time. As he is a keeper of natural laws, you will find you are living in tune with magical cycles. And you'll begin to read and know the messages for a time with such clarity that you may shock others, even yourself. Growing older need be no block to wisdom for you will not grow feeble nor doddery. You will know what is wise and what is not, and the difference between what is your worth your time, and what is not, will shine out in sharp relief. Clear, strong messages in a male mentor with Merlin energy may be coming into your life this time. Trust the messages that begin to come to you and know that you are a blending of both worlds. Hearing the voices of stones, plants, waters, and sky at this time. Seeing forms within nature, human forms, as that is how they can best talk to you at this time. Shape-shifting feelings merging into that which you're most connected to. This is true and deep druid wisdom that is strongly connected and loved by the fairy realm. Scrying will work for you very well. And consider finding a staff. Take long walks to conduct and receive your readings and messages. Remember, Merlin is a bard, and thus he'll often speak with you in riddles and rhyme. Alright, so Leo has messages for you as beings you're connecting with. And if you want to see more content for your sign, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye, guys.